Schedule 24.5. Imagine you wanted to avoid having to pay for car repairs before your car is paid off. So you're considering purchasing a new Toyota Corolla. What is the maximum percentage of Corollas that will require a major repair before you pay off the five-year car loan? To answer this, assume the following. You will put 20,000 miles on the car per year for each of the first five years you drive it. This means the car will reach 100,000 miles by the time you pay it off. Also, assume the average mileage for Toyotas undergoing their first major repair is 150,000 with a standard deviation of 10,416 miles. All right, so this problem is, you know, fairly difficult sounding, right? I mean, if I put this on an SAT, you know, or something, people would probably turn and run. Um, but really, when you face a problem like this, it seems pretty challenging. You want to try to look for a foothold, you know, something that jumps out at you that seems familiar, to give you a clue how to solve the problem. And for me, that's this phrase here. What is the maximum percentage, right? So what is the maximum percentage? That sounds like, you know, that phrase that we hear in Chebyshev's theorem that says, what's the minimum percentage? And we know that with Chebyshev's theorem, you can sort of invert the, the interval and talk about what the maximum percentage is, right? So even though the theorem is designed to give us the minimum percentage, we can, because it gives us the minimum, infer what the maximum percentage is. So, so maybe this problem can be solved with Chebyshev's theorem. But if it's going to be solved that way, I'm going to need an interval that is symmetric around the mean. So we have the mean, it's 150,000. Let's put that on our paper for a second, 150,000. So we're going to write 150,000 down because it's an important number for us, right? It's the mean in the problem. All right, the next thing is to think about another number in the problem that's important. Because I don't see an interval, right? There's no interval given. So I'm going to have to, if I'm going to use Chebyshev's theorem, I'm going to have to come up with an interval somehow. So I look at the next number they give me that seems important, other than the standard deviation. But I know that's not really, you know, to be used right away. First, you know, I'm going to be thinking about the interval itself. And I see this number, 100,000. And I say, well, that's kind of an important number because that's the mileage that the car will reach when I pay it off. And this whole problem is about, you know, having repairs before I pay off the car. So I know that once I paid off at 100,000 miles, I'm okay with having to make a repair because at least I'm not paying for the car. That's the whole idea of this problem. So let me put 100,000 miles on a number line with 150,000 and see where it sits. Well, 100,000 is less than 150. So I think that maybe that would be up here, right? to the left of 150,000. And if I was going to create an interval that surrounds this mean, I would need to make sure that that interval was equal distance on both sides from the mean. So how far is it from 150 to 100,000? Well, the answer is clearly 50,000, right? So if I put another 50,000 above it, which would take me up to 200,000, I would then have an interval that's actually symmetric around this mean, right? I'd have an interval from 100,000 to 200,000 with the mean square in the middle, 150,000. And so maybe that interval can help us solve the problem. Because if I have an interval, I can certainly go to my next step of using the theorem, which is to determine k. So I can then figure out k by saying, hey, k is equal to the upper limit minus the mean over the standard deviation. And the upper limit I can see easy enough, it's 200,000. And the mean, of course, is 150,000. And we divide that by the standard deviation, and that's the first time we'll use that. That's 10,416. So I should be able to use this to determine a k for this given interval here. All right, so let's do that. I know the top here, the distance is 50,000. So I'm going to do 50,000 divided by 10,416. When I'm done, I get 4.8003 or so, right? 4.8003. So I know my K is approximately 4.8003, and dot, 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 but I've rounded it off there to 4.803. Okay, now that I know my K, I can then fill in the phrase from Chebyshev's theorem that says, hey, at least one minus one over K squared. So k squared would be 4.8003 squared times 100%, right, is inside the interval, is inside the interval. Okay, 
so let's see what that works out to be. Let's see what percentage that is. Well, in my calculator, then I'll do 1 minus 1 divided by, I can just pull that number down here. If you don't have that feature in your calculator, just type it back in and then square it, hit enter, and you get the answer 95.66, but that's before we multiply by 100%. So the answer essentially is that at least the percent is 95.7%. All right, let's pause there for a minute and figure out what the interpretation is for this interval. We're saying that at least 95.7% of Toyotas will have their first major repair inside or let's say somewhere between 100 and 200,000 miles, right? All right, so that's the whole idea, right? That's what we would use if we were given this interval. We would use this and, and say, hey, at least 95.7% of Toyotas will have their first major repair somewhere between 100,000 and 200,000 miles. So that's not the answer to our question, though, because our question asks basically, hey, you know, what's the maximum percentage of Corollas that require a major repair before we pay off the car, year, car loan, right? Well, let's think about this. If 90, say, let's just for round numbers, let's say if 96% of the Toyotas are going to have their first major repair in this interval, what does that say about the situation we're concerned with? If they have their first repair here, their first major repair here, that's okay for us, right? Because we've already paid off the car at 100,000 miles. Every mileage after that, you know, is basically a time when we've already paid off the car. So if there's a major repair in here, we really don't care, right? We're concerned with having major repairs prior to that. So if, if no less than 96% of the Toyotas are going to have their first repair in this interval, and all of those scenarios are okay, right? No matter what mileage it happens in this interval, that's okay because at that point I've already paid off the car. Then what's the worst case scenario for what's outside of the interval? In other words, if at least 96% of the repairs are going to happen in this mileage interval, at most what percent will have happen outside of it? Well, of course, the answer is going to be about 4%. Specifically here, it'll be 4.3%. So finally, that's the answer to our question. At most, 4.3% will have repairs outside the interval. Outside the interval. So it's a safe buy, right? So the Toyota is a safe buy. The reason why I say that is because it seems like, you know, the maximum amount of Toyotas that are going to require a repair, a repair outside of that interval is 4.3%. And for all we know, since this is at most number, it may be 0%, right? It could be 1 or 2% only. And also, the leftover amount that's outside the interval could also occur out here, right? Maybe some of the Toyotas will go over 200,000 before they have their first major repair. So it seems like it's a very safe buy if these numbers for the mean and standard deviation are true, in fact. So that's it. That's how you use Chevy Show's theorem to find, to you know, solve an application that's actually quite relevant to everyday life.